Okay, welcome to 1.7 Linear Inequalities and Absolute Value Inequalities. And in this section, we are only going to cover um, the linear inequalities and not the absolute value inequalities. Okay. So let's go ahead and talk about um, the number line to refresh our memory from the P chapter. Remember the number line that if we have numbers on the right hand side of the number line, these are always going to be larger than the numbers on the left hand side of the number line. They're going to be smaller. If you're trying to compare two numbers, um, the one on the left hand side always going to be smaller. So you're comparing this number and this number right here, like negative 4 and negative 2. Well, negative 4 is going to be the smaller number because it's on the left hand side. Okay? So let's go ahead and look at how to um, express um, each inequality in set field notation, graph, and arrow notation. We got, we got to learn how to do this because we'll be doing this throughout the semester or throughout the course. And so, um, set bail notation, graphing, and interval notation are three ways to express um, solutions of inequality. So, number one, I have x is less than one. Okay, so x is less than one. We're gonna do. We're gonna go ahead and look at this in set bail notation. Set bail notation is the notation that we use. And there's the curly bracket, and this means the set of all x such that x is less than one. That says the set of all x such that x is less than 1. That's what I would say. That's a translation of the set builder notation. That's set builder notation right here. Now to graph this on the number line, we're going to go ahead and graph 0, and here's 1. You don't have to graph 0, but I like to always graph 0. But there's 1. I want all the values in the number line that are less than 1. So here's 1. Everything less than 1 would be on this side of the number line. Okay? So I'm going to go ahead and shade this in. And if this is where you have color pencils or um, another color, it's going to be easier to see. And I am not going to include the 1 because it says x is less than 1. It doesn't say x is less than or equal to 1. It just says x is less than 1. So we're not going to include that 1 there. So when we used to do this in grade school, we do an open circle. But we don't do that anymore in college algebra. We use parentheses. Parentheses you always use to say that's not including that value. And you always have it in the direction that you just shaded in. So it goes in this direction. Okay. So again, we use parentheses when we're not including that value. When we're not including one. Okay. So that is the graphical representation. So we did set builder right here. Here's the graph of that inequality. And air rotation is always easiest to do last. I always do after. Graphing. And I'll tell you why in just a second. I think in your homework they might you have you um, do interval notation first, but don't do that. On your paper, do um, graphing and then interval notation. The reason why is because interval notation is basically your graph, you're translating your graph. So if I read my graph from left to right, do you notice how that arrow is shaded over here? I mean, I'm shading in all the negative numbers, so I'm shading from negative infinity and I'm going all the way from negative infinity all the way to the number 1. I use parentheses around the 1 because I'm not including the 1. And I always use parentheses around negative infinity or infinity. That's the interval notation right there. Okay, so one more time, this is set builder notation. This is the graph right here. This is interval notation. Okay. So let's do a couple more of these. And I hope we get the hang of doing these. I'm going to write this right here. Okay. So, for number two, x is greater than negative three. So here is zero. Here's negative one, negative two, negative three, be right there. I want all the values that are greater than negative three, the bigger numbers than negative three. So it's going to be this side of the number line. I'm going to shade in this side of the number line. And I want greater than negative 3, but I'm not going to say greater than or equal to negative 3. It doesn't include the negative 3. I use parentheses again. And this time I'm going to face it in this direction because I just shaded the direction to the right. That's, that's how you know when you uh, face it this way. When you look at the, the part you just graphed or shaded in. Okay. I'm going to do set builder notation. Set builder is set of all x such that x is greater than negative 3. There's the set builder notation. Okay. 
And so animal notation, I'm reading the graph from left to right. So here's the left hand side and here's the right hand side. The left hand side I have negative three. And I'm going all the way to infinity and positive infinity, so I do infinity. I'm using parentheses around the negative three, because I'm not including negative three, and I always use parentheses around infinity or negative infinity. Okay. Do number three. Here's saying x is less than or equal to negative 2. The set bill notation would be instead of all x such that x is less than or equal to negative 2. Okay, x is less than or equal to negative 2. So here is 0, negative 1, negative 2 be right there. And I want all the numbers less than or equal to negative 2. The less than negative 2 be these numbers right here, smaller than negative 2. I'm going to shade that in. And this time it says x is less than or equal. The equal sign means I'm include the negative 2. The negative 2 would be fine. So I'm going to use a bracket. And a bracket is one that looks like this. It's squared off. And notice how I face that bracket in the direction and open up the direction that I just shaded in. Okay. So, okay, do interval notation and read the graph from left to right. The left hand side of the graph is this arrow here I just shaded in. This negative infinity. All the way, I go all the way to the number negative 2. You bracket around the negative 2 because I use the bracket here, including the negative 2. And I always use parentheses around infinity or negative infinity. Okay. Do number 4. X is greater than or equal to 4. So here's 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, be right there. All the numbers greater than or equal to 4. Greater than 4 would be this way on the number line. And I shade and all that, and then I'm including 4, because or equal to 4, so I'm using bracket, and that's how it faces the direction to shade in. Reading the graph from left to right would be from here to here, so it will be from 4 to infinity. And my set bill notation would be, instead of all x, such that x is greater than or equal to 4. <coughs> okay, so I'm going to go ahead and pause the video and have you try the one on the bottom on your own, and then you can check your answer with mine. Okay, so here is the answer, and the answer, um, the graph is right here. Um, x is less than or equal to 3, so I shaded everything less than 3 or smaller than 3. And I included the 3 because it's less than or equal to. Here's my interval notation. I read the graph from left to right and my set bill notation. When you are graphing these and when you are um, giving the notation, please, please, please be very clear about your brackets and your parentheses. If I see something like this, or not like that, but something like, I wish I could show you some examples I get. Um, like that. I have no idea that the bracket or parentheses. It looks like it's the bracket here and parentheses here. Be very clear. These are very squared brackets. If you go up here, these are very clearly parentheses. Okay, so make sure that I can tell. If I have to question whether it's a bracket or parentheses, then I'm gonna mark it wrong on your exam or your test. Okay. Okay. Let's go to page 50 and we're gonna express each of these in set build notation and then we're gonna graph them. Okay. So we're actually going backwards. They're giving you the interval notation here. They're giving you negative 4 to infinity and parentheses on both. So I'll go ahead and put negative 4 on my graph. Okay. The zero will be right there. And I want, it's going from negative 4 to infinity. Notice how it tells me the left hand side of the graph should be negative 4 and it goes all the way to infinity. I'm going to shade in this part of the graph. Then you parentheses around. Here. There's the graph. Now I'm going to do set bill notation. So basically I'm saying x has to be greater than negative 4. So x is greater than negative 4. And it's not including negative 4, so I don't have this. I don't have that because it's not including it. Okay? And I'm going to do the set of all x such that, and then I have set bill notation. Okay, the next one I have from negative 1 to 4. So I'm going to go from negative 1 to 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Be right here. So 0, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. And I'm actually going from negative 1 to 4. So I'm actually shading in between those two. So I'm going to have parentheses around the negative 1 and bracket around the 4. Tell me that x between negative 1 and 4. So x is between negative 1 and 4. 
and x is going to be a number that greater than negative 1, so x has to be bigger, so we're going to open up to the um, x, bigger than negative 1, but it has to be smaller than 4, so it's going to be less than 4, and notice how it's less than or equal to 4, because I'm including the 4, so I put uh, equal sign there. So any number that I put here, the number uh, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 would all work in, in satisfies an equality. And here's my set of notation. Okay, the next one, number 3, I have negative infinity to 5. So I'm shading in the negative infinity part. Okay, and then I'm going to go all the way to 5. So let's do 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. All the way to 5. So I'm going to shade in all the way up to 5. So I'm, reading it, so I'm actually looking from left to right. This is telling me what's on the left hand side and what's on the right hand side. I'm going to include the 5, so I use bracket right there. So then I'm going to go ahead and say x is less than all the numbers smaller than 5. So x is less than or equal to 5. I did the equal sign because there's a bracket there and I'm including the 5. And here is the set bit notation. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and pause the video and have you try the next three on your own. And then when you replay the video, I'll have the answer there for you. So go ahead and pause your video. Okay, so I went ahead and I posted the answer for the on your own problem. Okay, so I went ahead and graphed each of them. And then I went ahead and wrote that bit of notation for all of them. Look at your uh, inequality symbols, make sure they're correct. And um, if you can do this, then we can go ahead and move on further. Um, if you have any questions on this part, make sure you email me. I'm going to go ahead and stop the video. I'm getting close to 15 minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and stop the video and, and start back up um, for the next part of this lesson.